Hey guys, I'm Rita and in this episode I will show you how you can upload your receipt and record it as a transaction on QuickBooks Self-Employed. To upload receipt, we need to go to transaction section. From here, click on add receipt, browse through your receipt. So either take picture on your phone and send it to yourself and download it on your desktop. So click browse, select receipt what you want to upload. Okay, click upload. And receipt has been added to receipt that system are currently reading information from. So QuickBooks will actually try to read information of a vendor, amount and date. When it will be read, this pending free will change and there will be information that another transaction or one of those transactions or all free transactions are waiting to be recorded as transaction. It might take a couple of minutes or might take a couple of hours depending on the size of a file what you are attaching. So we'll give a little bit of time for this transaction to be or received information to be read and recorded as a transaction line. So now when I will go to transactions, my pending free transactions have reduced to only two transactions. So if I go to home, I can see that there is two transactions for review now. And when I click on it, I can see transaction for receipt, which I have just uploaded. So date is 22nd of May, which is correct. And it is for penguins or penguins burgers for free 20. And now I can select if this is business, personal or split. In my case, this is for business and I can select the category under meals and entertainment and click. I didn't do not need to actually click. This has been recorded as transaction under meals and entertainment under business. So this is a way how we can upload receipts and post the transactions from this information, what QuickBooks have read from my receipt. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, I have shared the links in the description section below to my QuickBooks self-employed tutorial as well as review of this accounting software. If you have not seen it yet, check it out.